We begin with a tragic mass killing in Manoa, a family of five dead in an apparent murder-suicide. Honolulu police say a father killed his wife and three children at their Wa'aloa Place home this morning. HPD held a news conference late this afternoon to provide details. Nikki Schenfeld has the latest. Police say a husband and father killed his wife and three children, ages 17, 10, and 12. Based on the evidence found at the scene and the investigation thus far, it appears that the adult male killed the female and the juveniles with a knife that was recovered from the scene. Police say they responded to an argument call Sunday morning. The police were called at 8.30 this morning initially and then they returned at 9.15, approximately 9.15. They left because there was an anonymous caller and there was no one to meet them and that's what they got called to initially. It was the second call where they realized what happened. I think there was an attempt to try to find out who the initial caller was, um, and then I think at 9 o'clock that individual um, was able to make contact with HPD and, and then make contact with our officers in person where we could figure out more information and then gain entry at that point. Police say there wasn't a history of domestic violence or police being called to the home in the past. What the motive is is still unclear at this point. Prior to this incident, neighbors say they never heard or saw anything unusual coming from the home, which is known to be the family house in the neighborhood with lots of decorations up during the holidays. Have you ever heard anything coming from that? No, not at all. They're like, like a typical, really festive family. You know, they dress up the house for holidays and it's all normal. You know, they had like um, Halloween decorations up, um, Christmas decorations, you know, the floaty things. Um, it was, it looked very pleasant, honestly. Um, so I thought, well, that's nice, a young family. So. You know, it's concerning. Um, the neighbors were kind of scared, you know, because normally we don't have a lot of crime around here. It's very, you know, quiet. Um, so everyone, of course, you know, wants to be safe and they want to make sure everything's okay. But um, it's just something that just doesn't happen here. On Sunday, Chief Joe Logan was at the crime scene, including an HPD chaplain and a peer group to assist responding officers. It really, it's talking to the officers who were there at the scene initially, trying to find out what they were feeling, what they were going through at that point in time. Um, and so vicariously, I, you know, I absorbed some of that. Um, and so I, I feel for those officers and what they will see um, really and understand within you know their mental faculties for the rest of their lives this will have an impact on them uh, as it would any officer for the rest of their life this murder is the second deadliest murder in honolulu history behind the xerox shooting which left seven people dead the family's name was not released and a time of death will be released by the medical examiner we will follow up then nikki schoenfeld khon2 news working for hawaii